in this video, I'm gonna show you guys my top 10 street food in Shibuya. Shibuya is not really known for street food, but as you guys know, I live here, so I wanted to show you guys my top 10 street food and take you around to my favorite spots. And it's so hot today, but luckily, I have someone to help me, Maiko! And if you like my Shibuya shirt, check it out in the link below. Alright, let me show you around my neighborhood. It's such a long line, I guess I'm gonna have to come back or should I go for it? I don't know, I just want to eat it so bad. Number 10, Milky Soft Cream from Milk. Located at the entrance of Marui, Milk is a fresh whipped cream specialty shop. It used to be only in Harajuku, but they recently opened in Shibuya. And their soft cream is thick with three C's. Look at how creamy that looks. I got the Hokkaido milk cream. I really, really wanted to try the chiffon cake, but I just couldn't go because this is so good. It is just so thick and creamy. It's fresh. You can like definitely taste the freshness. And it's not too sweet. It goes down really, really nicely. I think it's so good. Mm, I just can't get enough. Super milk is like you knew. It's so good. Number 9, Onigiri from Sasahachi. This is Sasahachi, my favorite onigiri shop in all of Shibuya. They have the freshest onigiri in town. Let's go check out what they got. Sasahachi is an onigiri shop in Shibuya Station. It's connected to the soba shop. And here's a little local secret. If you ask, they'll let you eat onigiri with your soba inside. Look, I got three onigiri. Oh, it's so hot in here. Oh, my hair is getting all messed up. Sorry, if my hair is just going to get all messed up because I'm just like sweating this entire time but look at these three little musketeers so one of my favorite things about this place is the anago yeah you don't get this in a lot of places I don't actually know the reason maybe because it has to be really fresh for them to actually serve it I'm just gonna have a bite because I'm so hungry mm, that is so good like it is so moist you can taste the freshness of the fish itself anago is like an eel it's a little bit sweet because they have like a sauce that they put on it like the portions itself is pretty good like there's a lot of fish in here compared to like some of the onigiri that you, you get oh, it's so good i always get this mentaiko which is pot roll a little bit spicy so good you should definitely try it Likas. The booty it has so much inside. It has like a handmade, soft, fluffy texture, which I love. The salmon also puts a smile on my face. Now let's move on to the food floor of Tokyo Department Store, also known as a Depachika. Number 8, Egg Sandwich from Recipe and Market. This spot has one of the best egg sandwiches in all of Shibuya and I had to introduce it to you guys. Let's do this! There are all sorts of goodies at this spot, from sushi bentos to interesting sweets. One of my go-tos is the egg sandwich from Recipe and Market. Recipe and Market is a deli shop by the owner and chef of a French restaurant called Russet. In English, it looks like la ass. But anyway, it's known for its high quality French food. Alright, check out what I got in my bag of tricks. Look at that, it's just like coming out. It almost looks like whipped cream. They actually use a handmade mayonnaise and onsen tamago, which is like a half cooked egg. Open this up. Oh, look at that, it's almost like jello. Mm. Oh my God, it's so fluffy. Like at the egg, it's been whipped so much that it seems like it's really thick, but it's so light. Can you tell it's really yellow? I make uh, egg sandwich at home. Since you mix with mayonnaise, it usually like turn out really like whitish yellow. But this is like super super like orangey yellow, which is a good sign. Itadakimasu. Wow, it melts. It's kind of like a, you know, like a five-star hotel buffet crumble egg, like has a lot of butter and greens. It's kind of like that. 
In fact, there's actually so many different foods in this department store area. I can't go through all of them today, but if you want to see a top 10 of just this department store, I'll do it. Just leave a comment in the comment section below. Number 7 ice cream from Shiroichi. Shiroichi is one of my favorite organic ice cream spots in all of Shibuya. They're known for one of the longest and tallest ice creams around. And if you're thirsty, they even have some coffee specials for you to take in. Let's go inside and check it out. Shiroichi's ice cream is made naturally with rich milk, sugar, and vanilla beans. And to get this My Jean Boost styling, they put the ice cream in the freezer for a few minutes to sell it before it's served. But to check it out, it's Kuromitsu Matcha, which is a dark molasses matcha. They don't use egg, butter, or cream. It's all natural. And in fact, it's organic. Look at that. It looks uh, so good. Look, and it has these like black dots in the vanilla. It's almost... Mm. Oh, it's just so light. It's almost like drinking like a fresh glass of milk. You can definitely taste the freshness. It's just so like clean. It's like not really thick and creamy. And it has some hanko in there. You can see the bottom that has like the kuromitsu. Just mix it all up. Mm. Now after I've mixed it up, you can definitely taste the matcha flavor. It's amazing. And check it out, it even has shirako, which is like a mochi and it's uh, so chewy. It's really good with the ice cream, it just like mixes it so well. Number six, soy pancake from Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean just looks like a normal stand at the station, but it's so much more. They have all sorts of soy products like soy milk, soy ice cream, but today I'm gonna show you one of my favorites. It's a tonyu yaki. Just on the other side of Sasahachi, you can find Pikachu's slower cousin, Mr. Bean, a soy-based sweet stand. I love how gooey the custard is. That opens up so well. That is so delicious. It's like a pancake on the inside, but kind of like a biscuit on the outside. This custard is amazing. The custard is not too sweet. It is just the perfect texture to like mix and pair all with the whole entire. Soy for me, soy for you, soy for everyone. Number five, takoyaki from Gindako. If you guys are looking for some takoyaki, then this is a spot. Now I know Gindako is a chain, but it's so good and I love takoyaki, so I wanted to introduce this spot to you guys. All right, let's go inside. This Gindako next to Ikare is also a bar, so you can enjoy a nice cold beer with your takoyaki. Oh look, this is a new one. I haven't seen this one before. The yuzu bunzo is pretty good too, but I want to try the aojiso. Look at these lovely pancake balls. It's nice and crunchy, like it's still warm. So this is ponzu. It's like a vinegar and citrus kind of mix, and it also has some daikon radish in it. And it's so refreshing on a day like this. Oh, look at that. Just dip it in like so. Mmm. Add some green onions and shiso. Make it even more refreshing on a hot day like this. Mm. So I just love how it's like crunchy on the outside. If you guys are not familiar with takoyaki, tako means octopus and it's kind of like in a pancake. You guys have probably seen it in my other videos. Definitely worth trying if you haven't had it before. And it's, I think it's good. Uh, I just want to have another one. Don't take away my love. Number four, curry pond from JS Curry. At this trendy curry house, you can grab a freshly fried curry pond. Look, it comes in a cool little baggie. Right now, I'm as hot as this curry pond. It is a hot freaking day today, man. This is like the worst day to do a street food video. I'm just like super sweating, but oh well. So this pond is from JS Curry. Now they have two different versions. They have the regular JS Curry pond, which is really good. And then this one, uh, it's a spinach and mozzarella, which you guys probably haven't seen in any of my videos. And that's why I wanted to introduce it to you guys today. Look at this. Oh, it's still warm to the touch. And look at that. You can see how cheesy it is. See how it just broke apart. And then you got the spinach pieces just right there. Oh, I've been waiting for to eat this all day. Oh, 
It's really the bread it has this amazing crunch to it. And then you like bite in and you can just like taste the mozzarella cheese and it just like melts in your mouth. And then the spinach is like a little good touch. It adds kind of like a bitterness to it. Crunch it a crunch, I love it. If you guys love curry pan, then definitely come to this place. If you've never tried curry pan before, then definitely come to this place. Like all I'm saying is just come to this place. Finger looking good. Number three, Sekai de ni ban me ni oishi yakitate meron pan. Oh my god, that name is so long. So, this is one of the best meron pan ice cream places in all of Shibuya. It has one of like the crispiest meron pans that I've ever had, and I wanted to take you and show you this place. <laughs> This shop serves the best meronpan ice cream sandwiches in all of Tokyo. Their meronpan is freshly baked and served warm. Oh, in case you're wondering, the name translates to the second tastiest fresh baked meronpan in the world. The regular one is delicious too, but today I selected from the limited menu strawberry! So it's actually a meron pan and inside they actually have strawberry, strawberry ice cream. Instead of putting a strawberry sauce, I got them to put a blueberry sauce. They even have biscuits for you. Mmm, so crunchy. Oh wow. The melon pan is so crunchy and crispy. It's like a fresh made biscuit. And then you have the ice cream just right in here. Mm, and then you have a freaking fresh strawberry. This is amazing. Ah. I gotta be careful on a hot day like this. If you guys can see that right now, it's like all melted. I was too busy taking the thumbnails for this. This is one of the freshest melon pans I've ever had. It's just so delicious. Number two, fried chicken from Torikara. Torikara is a chain fried chicken stand. They use chicken breast for the strip, so it's light and crispy. Thank you. So nice. <laughs> I like to sprinkle garlic, salt, and pepper to give it some extra bite. And the sauce selection is awesome here. What kind of video would this be if I didn't show you guys some fried chicken? You guys know I love fried foods and here it is. I've lived in Shibuya for more than eight years now. It's been such a long time. I love showing you guys all the cool places that I love and Torikara is one of them. It's fried chicken on the street. I love how it's always like these like little tiny morsels like chicken strips and even like smaller. Ah, oh, look at this. Oh good, they freshly fry it. It's so hot right now. Mm. One of the things I love about this place is they always serve it fresh. Like right when you order, they will fry a new batch. So you definitely won't get something that's been sitting around for a long time. You get it freshly made. So definitely try the different sauces and see which one you guys like. If you guys have been here, let me know in the comment section below like which one is your favorite because this stuff is so good. You will find this place in a lot of different places throughout Tokyo, but definitely worth hitting it up if you're in Shibuya or in any other spot in Tokyo. And number one, shaved ice from Sebastian. This spot is one of the most famous kakigori shaved ice places in Shibuya. They're famous for having all sorts of different types of kakigori. They have cake, they have cream brulee, and they have your regular standard delicious kakigori. I'm so excited, let's go and order. So this shop is hidden in the back of Shibuya and their insanely unique menu items are only available inside. So if you're down to try, arrive early for the inside reservation line. I arrived at 2 p.m. and only the takeout window was open. Wow, look, it's melting so fast. This is Anin Dofu Mango. Look at that. Mm, that is brilliant. Uh, it's like you can taste like the, the milk kind of. It's a little bit sweet. It has a sweetness. I think they feel like there's like condensed milk in here. It's kind of like Halo Halo if you guys have ever had Halo Halo before. This hits the spot. Oh, look at that. And it has like onion dofu too, which is, you know, if you ever had like Thai food, they always give it you as a dessert. This is the sweetness. Ants on your head. Oh. Ants? Yeah. Ants love me, guys. 
They're just chilling on my head. All right, so that concludes my top 10 street food in Shibuya. If you like this video, help me out and hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section below which one was your favorite and what I should do next. And if you want to see more of my adventures in Tokyo or in Japan, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one.